Here's a really sweet video for everybody. Uh, it's something that I really wasn't taught when I was in high school, and I think it's really important that a lot of people understand and know so that they're not screwed out of earning more money even though you got a raise or feeling like you didn't actually earn a raise even though you received one. And the point is, is inflation, and that's what this video is. Uh, I've got, what's his name, Carlton Dennis, who talks about taxes and inflation, and he talks about uh, tax brackets and uh, how to understand deductions and all of that. So when you do your taxes, definitely check out Carlton Dennis. He definitely gives you a really, really, really good insight on what exactly it is you're doing when you file your taxes. But what I really want to focus on here is, is when you receive your raise, it needs to be higher than inflation. Okay, that's what it's going to cost you every single year more of your income. Let's just listen to Carlton here. So let's say inflation's at 8% per year. If you get a raise 50% during the year, it could push you into a higher tax bracket. However, with a raise of 3%, you're not actually getting an increase in income when you factor in inflation. In fact, you would essentially be losing 5% of your income. Now, in the Right, so just to give you that, you will not have as much money left over after you pay all your bills. You will have less money altogether you'll have a five percent and if you work paycheck to paycheck that is a huge percentage so say you have twenty dollars okay twenty dollars do you know how much eight percent is of twenty dollars that's almost thirty percent of all of your extra cash is just taken away because of extra cost of living so when you're getting a raise hey you got you know maybe maybe a dollar increase but if that's 7% of your overall income, you're, you're making less. You're making less than you did the following year. So that's something to really, really keep in mind. We're gonna go on, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try and show y'all how to calculate um, how, how much like 8% of your overall income is, okay? <coughs> I'm gonna see if I can, actually like put it in your lap so that you can actually understand. Uh, how do I use this? Where's the calculator? There it is. Okay. So the first thing you do is you always take how much you make an hour. Okay. And then you do times that by 40 hours, which is the minimum. It's pretty average, but it'll be more exact if you take, if you count up all the hours you actually, uh, you actually work, but just on the top of my head, we're gonna do 16. We'll just do 16 an hour. Okay. We're gonna times that by 40. Okay, that's $640 before tax a week. There are 52 taxable weeks, okay? So we times that by 52 weeks in a year, and this should give you your annual income. Okay, about $33,000, okay, great. That's all well and good. Let's say you get a dollar increase, okay, and you're up to 17, okay, how much, is your income growing after that? So remember that 33,280. Okay, I probably should write it down because I will forget it. I can see it. Um, I think I'll I'll remember it. If I don't, you know, we'll just do this again. So now we're going to change it up and let's change it to 17. Okay, 17 dollars an hour. Times that by 40 which is like a week, and then times that by 52, average, okay? You are going up 33,280, so subtract 33,280, and that's the difference. It's a difference about $2,000 increase, okay? It's about $40 a week. Kind of, you kind of follow me on that, all right? Now we're going to divide 280 by your annual income and then we're going to move the decimal and that'll give us a percentage of how much your your income has increased okay it'll give us a percentage by how much how much more in percentage okay so uh we'll start with uh we got to do 35 360 so then i i always confuse this but we'll see Thirty-five two eighty. Okay. 
you take the decimal, move it two times, and you will see that you got an increase of 5.8%. Does that add up to inflation? Did your company give you an increase in your living? Or are they making money? Because if they don't give you more than inflation, they're saving money by not giving you as much. You see how this can be kind of like, you know, misunderstanding because companies have to deal with inflation too. If their cost goes up, they're actually paying you less if they don't match inflation. So if, if you can take anything from this video, it's just remember, inflation dictates your cost of living, okay? And if a company really, really cares about you and wants your life to be better each year that they are taking care of you, they will give you a higher raise than inflation, 100%. If they care about you and they want you to live a higher and more comfortable life, they will give you a raise higher than inflation. Remember that. And you have to advocate for yourself. The only way in business to get more is not to let somebody dictate the rules and not withhold information. You deserve to live a more comfortable and more meaningful life. And that comes with having a reasonable and meaningful raise. Just because um, they give you $2,000, that's great. They gave you a dollar increase, but inflation, let's just take 8% of, of 35,280, okay? So we'll clear it. So we'll take inflation. So it's 0.082, I think. And we'll divide that by 35 to 80. I'm not doing this right. Oh, I, no, no, I times it. I'm sorry. Uh, 0.082 times 35 to 80. Okay. That's how much inflation is. Your, your income has to increase by $2,892 every single year if inflation stays consistent. It has to so that you make the same amount you did the previous year. If you don't, you're making less. Okay? That's pretty much all I really have. Um, maybe some of this probably wasn't exactly clear, but the point is, is that factor inflation Take the percentage of what inflation is and times it by your current or your previous salary in order to see if you actually got a cash increase. Did your wealth actually increase? Do you have more money in your pocket after all your bills, the same amount of bills you had in the previous year compared to now? So, you know, it, just try to just, just try to remember this number, $2,892. If your annual income does not increase, you should and are obligated to if you do a good job at your job and you have no issues and you work well you deserve to earn more the following year now i'm in a similar situation i didn't learn this early enough okay i didn't i didn't really understand this okay i i'm technically to this day okay based upon the numbers that i've run I'm making less this year than I did last year, which is really, really, really aggravating. And this is a company that I trust and a company that I love. But the point is, is that you have to understand the system. And I will be formulating and trying to understand the system a little bit more in order to uh, fight for me. Because I've been with the company three years. I should see an increase in my wealth. And I haven't. I haven't seen an increase in my wealth. I haven't been provided that. Pay attention to inflation because I'm sure it's going to have a bigger impact on you than you could ever realize. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully this was a pretty informative video and I'll see you in the next one.